Good morning, Bulldogs! Welcome back to your FHS News. I'm Miranda Huglin. I'm Cobb Wall. And this is the week ahead. Happy first full week of the third trimester! You've officially made it through all your teachers' rules and syllabus lessons for the year. Ha 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 ha. And don't forget about the All About Me papers and projects. I know, right? On a more serious note, the month of February, Black History Month, is coming to an end. And last week we saw we had a few artists in the school whenever we looked at some of the door decorations honoring Black History Month. The winner is... Miss Bunker! Congratulations! But also a huge congrats to Miss Anderson who came in second place and Miss Jaggers who got third place. Y'all's doors look so good. Speaking of looking good, can you believe there's only five weeks until I'll be at the beach? <coughs> I mean, spring break. I can, and only 12 weeks until the last day of school, not counting spring break. But wait, there's more. Wednesday, March 1st marks the first day of Women's History Month. Wow, there's so much to look forward to. I can't keep up. Well, keep up with this. From the cafeteria, here's your lunch menu for the week. We will have a variety of cheeseburgers, mac and cheese, Domino's pizza, and oven fried chicken, and spicy chicken sandwiches. If you're not excited now, you will be because this week we're welcoming a new face to the newscast team, our meteorologist, Dorsa Padvorka. Hello everyone, my name is Duarsa and I will be giving you your weekly weather updates. Last week the weather went from the 70s to the 30s within a day, but luckily this week we have a little bit more consistency. Starting off, make sure you bring your hoodies as we expect it to rain cats and dogs today, Thursday and Friday. Then temperatures will cool down a little bit, ranging from the 50s to the 60s. That's your weather for the week ahead. This is Duarsa, out. Yep, it's official. We have the best meteorologists around. I agree. Now to Aubrey and a special new guest with sports. Thank you, Miranda. What's up, Thardo? It's Aubrey. Today we have a special guest for our sports segment. Introducing... Jake Du Bois. I'm glad to be here. Let's start with the announcements. Last Saturday, the archery team competed in a tournament at Bullet Eaks. Congratulations to all the members who scored their season high. Last Tuesday, our boys basketball team took home a win, defeating the Cougars from Holy Cross in the first round of districts. The boys keep going in postseason play this week. Check social media for more in information on time, states, and student section themes. Coming up soon, spring sports announcements will be here, so be on the lookout for those. That's it for this week's sports segment. Back to Miranda and Kyle for more updates. Thank you, Aubrey. And Big Jake. <laughs> hey, Kyle, didn't you mention the start of the new trimester? Yep, and since it is the new trimester, make sure to stay on top of your grades and new assignments. This is a fresh start not to get behind, so you will be eligible for all fun things that happen towards the end of the year. Speaking of fun, juniors and seniors, prom tickets are on sale now. $60 for a single or $100 for a couple until April 18th in the front office. You can pay in full or put a $20 deposit down by March 17th. Attention juniors, the junior ring ceremony will be held on May 4th at 6.30 p.m. in the small gym. Make sure your nails are done and hands are prepped for all the close-ups of your new bling. Did you say close us? Because you can upload any school appropriate picture of you or your friends to our school website by scanning this QR code. We'll put them on display and share them on here too. Here's more of what we've been sharing so far. First, here's two senior stars from a wrestling team, Jude Powell and Sam Bertin. Next, here's some students and me and our favorite decade on Throwback Thursday this past Spirit Week. Y'all ate that up. <laughs> To finish out the newscast, this week's quote comes from Lao Tzu. In honor of the new trimester, it reads, A single journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Have a great rest of your week, Bulldogs. Have a great rest of your week, Bulldogs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest Have of your a week, great, Bulldogs. Have a great week, Bulldogs. Because... <laughs> Divorce up, boy. <laughs>